Are you wondering how to edit a drop-down list in Smartsheet? Well, if that's the case, then you've come to the right place because today I'm going to be walking you through exactly what you need to do. So as you can see here, I have created a sheet and put in some dummy data. Now, this column here, the third column, is my drop-down list. So as you can see here, we've got various different fruits and we've got different fruit categories. We've got citrus, stone fruit, and tropical and exotic. So for the purpose of this demo, let's just separate tropical and exotic. Uh, let's say we don't want them together and we want them as separate entries. So this is what you need to do to um, edit the drop downs. Now, bear in mind, you will need to be an admin of the sheet or have editor access. If you're a viewer, you won't be able to do this. So perhaps if you're not seeing this capability, that may, may be the case. You may need to get in contact with the sheet owner. So with that said, let's now look at what you need to do. So let's say we want to change this column. We right click and we scroll to the bottom here and we change edit column properties. And in doing so, you will see that we obviously have the drop down list selected. Okay. And what we then do is we then, well, if you wanted to change it so that you could have multiple values per cell, you could do that here as well. You could restrict it to list values only if, if you want that in place and maybe you've got these in place already. But here is the area where you edit the drop down list. So as an example, I want to have exotic as a separate option. Now each almost row, if you like, is an option. So if I press the enter button on my keyboard, that's gonna make exotic a separate entry. And if I wanted to add another one, then this is where I would do it. So let's just say apple. Or no, 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 let's put, let's put tree fruit. Let's put tree fruit. Or let's say I wanted to put that as a capital. So we now have one, two, three, four, five. Five drop down options. Again, each row, so you press enter on your keyboard to add new ones, okay? And if you want to remove one, you li literally take it out of the list. Press OK when you're done, and you should see that the drop down list has been updated. So I hope this video was useful. If it was, please do hit the like button. That tells me I should continue recording videos like this, and do consider subscribing to my channel. Talking about my channel, if you head over there, I've got an entire Smartsheet training playlist with over 85 videos at time of recording. So I would recommend if you're new to Smartsheet that you head over there and check those videos out. So with all that said, I hope you have an excellent day.